This is what I got left. Do you have any relatives in San Domingo? People keep asking me if we have relatives in San Domingo. I don't know. Oh, yeah. There could be re like a distant relations. Yeah, this is my Aunt Dorothy. Hi. Yeah. Here I am with Rhonda Crispin, uh, the winner of the uh, Spanish Colonial Market poster. And. Uh, Beautiful work. Thank you. The and museum works. bought the piece, San Gabriel. San Gabriel. Yeah. What does San Gabriel represent? Uh, it represents the Archangel Gabriel. He's the he's the archangel most mentioned in the Bible, he, and he's a messenger. He's and he's the, like the one that told Mary she would have Jesus, but he appears other times too. Ah, okay. He's also the trumpeter. What's that? Does he play an instrument? Uh, uh yeah, because that's a symbol of messenger. You know, he's it's a message. Yeah. Okay. And how long have you been at? Uh, I've been doing. Uh, Spanish market since 1992, but I've been doing this type of artwork, the traditional artwork, for uh, about 30 years. I, sta I started off with a, a folk art Santa for my mother because she liked them and I couldn't afford them, so I made one. And, and then my uncle, who was in Spanish market, he was a tin and silversmith, said I should start doing Santos as well as Santas. <laughs> and that's how I got started. And are these carved? Or? These are all hand carved. I collect my own aspen. I live in the mountains in, in Hamas. And they're all hand carved. I make my own gypsum gesso, natural pigment watercolors, uh, pignon sap varnish, and beeswax. And sometimes I use little elements of like deer hide, like on these petals here, are deer hide. They, the old pieces would do that to get the fine detail that you couldn't carve because the semi-soft wood wouldn't hold that much detail, it'd break off. Mm, yes. Yeah, so, and finally the pinion sap varnish and beeswax on it. And this is St. Francis? Yes, it is. St. Francis uh, preaching to the birds. He'll be going to Pennsylvania. Oh. <laughs> but he came out real nice. Yes. Am I wiggling them too much? Okay. And that's Santa Squad? Yes, with his little fork and spoon. And get the little look in the back here. It's all ready to go. Supper. And this is St. Anthony. He was a Franciscan. Francis, Francis and Anthony are big ones here in New Mexico. Very traditional. Like this color blue that I used on both is uh, indigo, which is a plant that they also use that same dye for blue jeans. They get that real dark, it can be almost black. And this is all hand carved. Are you passing the traditional one? I, I have had um, uh, apprentices. My daughters are both creative, but they are more into um, modern medias. But they have tried this. They do know this uh, techniques, the traditional techniques. And there's a Spanish market artist, I don't know if you've heard of him, Nicholas Otero. He was my uh, uh, apprentice. I, at 15, I would sponsor him. He's one of them. I've done different ones. Now he's a noted uh, adult artist here. Well, thank you. Thank you for, for admiring me. Thank you.